Hello everybody and welcome to this video of myself and Pete. And today we're going to be looking at the Bakun barrels and specifically we're going to be comparing one model in two different woods. So basically Bakun make barrels in two different wood types. The Grenadilla, which is here, uh, it's a darker wood which you might be used to on most normal, normal, he says, clarinets. <laughs> and also the Cocobolo, which is a softer wood in terms of its density and also has a different coloration as you can see here. Now the two different woods react differently um, and so we're going to test that and we're going to play them back to back so you can hear it. We've done a separate video where we talk about the different models of barrels that are available so you can check that out and we go into the MOBA, the Lumiere, the Fat Boy, and the traditional but today we're just going to look at the same model in two different wood types. So Pete is very kindly demonstrating for us and he's yep. sporting a MOBA clarinet with uh, a Bakun H Vocalese mouthpiece, which is the new Baku mouthpieces. We've done a separate video about that as That's well. Right, you have, Videos yeah. everywhere. Uh, and he's also using a Leger European Signature Cut 3.5 because we know people always want to ask us what the spec is. So, Pete, just yeah. before you play even, tell us a little bit about your experiences as someone who's used Baku barrels and products for a while between the Coca Bolo and the Grenadilla. Well, yeah. Um so when I initially got my uh, B-flat MOBA, it was a uh, Grenadilla and complete uh, barrel bell. And I used that for quite a few years. Um, and, and then uh, I was able to just experiment a little bit, actually. And uh, there was a selection of um, Cocobolo uh, barrels and bells. And um, I was encouraged to try. And so that was my first proper um, outing with a Coca-Cola barrel. And what I found uh, for me was that the, um, that the barrel, because, because as you say, the density of the wood is different, you know, and it, it, it produces a much kind of lighter sound. Um, I found that that kind of really helped to sweeten the sound mm. of, the, of the, you know, the main body of the Grenadilla instrument. Um, and yeah, I remember, you know, trying that and just, being a bit wowed actually um, and you know I did a recital a, a, a week or so after that and then I, that was it I was convinced and um, and then I got the bells you know so I'm um, you know a multicolored multicolored <laughs> clarinet but but um, yeah it's it's really I, I found there is a big difference um, for me personally um, you know and I think you know as we've we've mentioned before, I think the you know if the player feels happy and it feels um, you know it, it kind of falls into their idea of how they want to sound, mm. then yeah, you know, Go great, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well let's let's have a little listen to the Cocobolo and then we'll jump onto the Grenadilla. Okay, should we yeah. do a little quick swap and then we can have a listen? Just while Pete's getting the swap over done, it's worth pointing out, although we're using a Bakun clarinet for this as a test, these are designed to work on pretty much every major model of clarinet. So if you're using a Buffet or a Yamaha or whatever it might be, um, the Bakun barrels and bells will suit on pretty much all of those instruments. If you're not sure, get in touch with us and ask. But let's have a little listen. Mm. Similar thing on the Grenadilla, yeah. yeah. So what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, straight away, there's quite a big difference um, in that the, the Grenadilla has a much more powerful feel to it. Um, there is a little bit of resistance in there, um, but there's, there's, there's that kind of, that sort of ping mm. in a way. Um, in comparison to the Cocobolo, you know, it just takes the edge off. Mm. You know, you don't you don't lose any of that quality. You don't. You know, there's no sacrifice anywhere. Um, you know, it's just a different feel to the to to, to it. But yeah, I mean, both work e equally well. Um, but perhaps you know, 
like you've mentioned, it's it's obviously personal taste and and, and trying in different different situations. Yeah, that's it. I think um, it depends a bit on your mouthpiece setup and whether you like dark, what your own concept of your sound is now and what you might want to change it to is worth thinking about. Mm. Um, but definitely they do vary quite a lot and we get this with people trying them in the shop. They're usually, I'll be honest, sometimes some people are sceptical yeah. and they try them like, oh, wow, okay, it does make a big difference. Uh, not only to the user and what you might hear, but also to the player and what they feel when they blow. Yeah. And that's so, so important, like a mouthpiece or a reed. So we would really encourage you to try the different woods comparing them. And we do an approval so you, you can take them away from the store. If you can't come to the store, you can order them online, order the same model, same size in two different woods, try it at home, try it in your lesson, try it in the orchestra and see how you get on. There is a definite directness and a ping, I think that's yeah. the great word, yeah. to the grenadilla, which some people really like. It just... It just gives you that kind of laser-like feel. But maybe there's a slightly different character, more mellifluous perhaps, um, mm. on the Cocobolo. And it might depend on what you're trying to break through, and it might depend on the barrel. Um, the Fat Boy, for example, is a very bright, yeah. punchy barrel. You might find the Cocobolo tones it down, or, you know. Well, absolutely, yeah. It's we, great to be able to play. Well, this is it, <laughs> yeah. And, and the, the, the great thing is that, that whatever, you know, whatever backing products you decide upon, you know, you know that it's going to work. That's the yeah. thing, you yeah. know. And I think it's a really cool way just to think about changing up your sound and your feel without messing about with your clarinet, which you're already comfortable with, and or your mouthpiece and reed, which you might like. But you just want to change something up or have an alternate, depending on where you might be playing. It's yeah. a nice way to approach it. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your demonstrations, Pete, and Thanks. your expertise from years of using them. Uh, if you do want to check out more of what we do, just subscribe to the YouTube channel where all the videos are. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and we'll have a look at those for you. Um, but Pete, do you mind just blowing us out a little more, a few more, mo few more notes? Sure. Uh.